Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful bracelet. I do have a similar, well kind of the same type of tutorial on my channel already but I had so many people asking me on Instagram to make a tutorial for this bracelet exactly. So this is what we're going to do today. So the first thing that we need is a mat, scissors, I'm going to use two pliers, I have sterling silver closures in which I have crimp ends, crimp covers, I have spring ring, one 5mm jump ring and one 3mm jump ring and then I have these salmon colour beads, then I have these, I call them mint beads, then I have green ones and then some golden ones. All these beads are Miyuki beads and they are size 11 slash zero. I need a fishing line as well. I think that's it, but I, everything that I use, I will link in the description box and I will link exactly the colors that I use, the fishing line, the everything that I use. So the first thing that we're gonna take, we take the fishing line and we're gonna take, for this bracelet, we're gonna need quite a bit of fishing line because it's just a continuous beading all the time so it's going to use quite a bit and um, i think let me measure it how much i'm gonna take i'm not really like measuring it every time i kind of know around how much i'm gonna need just to because i have made hundreds of these bracelets so i have 30 60 i have about one meter one meter 20. so i know there's going to be a little bit left that i'm going to cut off but it's just easier to have a little bit extra too when i work with it so it's not like the tiniest bits left and then i need to bead so the first thing i'm going to do i fold over the fishing line so then i take the crimp end and I pull both ends of the fishing line through the crimp end and I just drag it all the way down and then I take pliers and I grab the crimp end and I drag it to the very 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 tip and then I just tie it and do it really 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 tight because we don't want the fishing lines to come out. I just turned around and did the same thing. And this is how it looks. And then I take the crimp cover and there is like a little hole in the middle where I'm going to put both the ends of the fishing line through. Drag it down. And then just close it. And obviously we need to make sure that both the holes align. So you might need to like push it a bit sideways. And then just close it up. Like so. And now we can start beading. So the first one I'm going to do, I will take this mint colour and I will take one bead and I will pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. Like so. Drag it down. To the end but not to the very, very end. I leave a tiny bit there, gap there. And then I will take four beads of the mint color and I will pull two beads on each end of the fishing line. Like so. And then I will just let them drop down and then I will put the ends together and take one golden bead 
and put both ends of the fishing line through the golden bead and then I drag them down and this is how it looks and then I take these two ends here and I fold it over so now it looks like this a little heart and then you take one end of the fishing line and pull it through two sides two beads on one side and just pull the fishing line and then you do the same thing on the other side you take the fishing line and put it through two beads on one side and pull it pull the sides this is how it's gonna look and then we take the min bead and we pull one end of the fishing line to one side of the bead and the other si other end of the fishing line to the other side of the bead and it creates like an X and you just drag it down by pulling the sides of the fishing line And this is your first daisy done and now we're gonna take two green beads and put one on each end of the fishing line like so and then we take one pink bead put one end of the fishing line through one side of the bead and the other end of the fishing line through the other side of the bead like an X and just drag it down and now when you tie it it's gonna look like this and now you do the same thing you did with the mini beads you take two beads on one side of the fishing line and pull another two on the other side of the fishing line like so take one silver bead and pull both ends of the fishing line through the silver bead and drag it down then you take two ends and you fold them over and you take one end of the fishing line and put it through the two beads on one side pull it and then you take the other end of the fishing line and put it through the other side of the two beads and pull it then you just pull the ends as tightly as you can so it's nice and tidy and then you take one and one bead of the pink one and put one end of the fishing line through one side and the other end of the fishing line through the other side of the bead and just drag it down and here is your second daisy and now again you just take two green beads put on one, one on one fishing line and the other one on the other end and you start beading the daisies again so one bead each end of the fishing line to opposite side of the bead drag it down take two four beads two on each end of the fishing line like so one golden bead put two ends of the fishing line through or through the bead drag it down take the two ends fold it over one end of the fishing line through one side of the beads and the other end on the other side
pull it, take one min bead, put one side of your fishing line to one side and the other to the other side. And that's how you make it. So I'm now just going to bead the whole, whole bracelet and I'm going to show you how I put the closures on at the end. Okay, so I have finished my bracelet. Well, I have finished beading it. I have done just the beading bit is 13 and a half centimeters, but obviously I need to make sure that I count the ends and the spring ring and everything. And I like to have my bracelet 16 centimeter. So um, yeah, the beading bit for me is 13 and a half centimeters. And this is how it currently looks. So we're going to take, to finish it up, we're going to take this cream cover and I just open it so it's a bit wider. We're going to pull the two ends of the fishing line through this side of the cream cover, drag it down and then we take the crimp end and we put both ends of the fishing line through and just drag it down. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take one set of pliers. So we're going to take a set of pliers and grab this crimp end, drag it down so there isn't much space left and just squeeze it as much as we can. These pliers are not very good, I have ordered some new ones so we just need to make sure that we, we just tie it as tight as possible so there's no way of the fishing line to come out take the jump ring put the bracelet on put the spring ring on 
close the jump ring. And then we take the five millimeter jump ring. Open it up. And put the other side of the bracelet on. Close it. And that's her bracelet done. I think it's super cute, especially now with the spring coming up. It's going to look so nice. Even now, like when the sun shines on, it's just so, so pretty. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload new video every Wednesday and Sunday. And please check me out on all social media. Um, my links are in the YouTube banner and I will see you next time. Bye!